Simple for Dummies. I'm doing my first Final Cut Pro X tutorial and it's how to do a basic muzzle flash. Now if you haven't seen the video that's um, on the channel CGNJM, I'll link it here. It has a lot of um, special effects that I use um, now basically. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make something that looks a bit like this. It's very easy to do. Um, here it is. Like that there. Um, now I don't know if you picked that up just as well, but basically frame by frame from about here it looks like this. So we go back. Oh, there we are. You need to kind of watch the whole video to understand what's going on, but that's basically what happens. So, um, let me teach you how to make this. Okay. Is that it? Is that it all done? Great. Okay, you want to start off by getting your footage of you shooting a gun, okay? So I have quite a lot um, all over the place. Um, but what you want to do is you want to go to the position oh, there, yeah, there's still something there. Yeah. There we go. Um, you want to go to the position when somebody shoots the gun, so I can see it's right there. You can scroll by going um, across, you know, right, left arrows. So I know I shoot right there. Okay, you want to go to the frame just when you shoot, and you want to import a photo of a muzzle flash. The best one that I always get, this is the one I commonly use, if you, <laughs> if you just type in muzzle flash in Google, it's this one here. Okay, and you can just put it into iPhoto. So you want to drag this photo and you want to just basically put it where your scrubber is, that's what it's called, like that. So now if you watch it, it'll look like this. Um, and it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't really look the best. So what you want to do is you want to click on this and go to Inspector. If you don't know how to do that, you just hit the I right there. And you want to scroll down to see Compositing. Go to normal or the blend mode and then go to screen. Okay. So now basically what that does that gets rid of all the black in the background. So you wanna grab this and trim it down till it can't be trimmed any further. So that's one frame. And you wanna hit um right here, okay? Okay, that's the transform tool. And it lets you basically change the size of there you go. Oh, flip. I, I know what I've done. I've selected the wrong bit. You, you might want to actually zoom in for this so you actually select the right thing. Okay. You want to make this smaller. And because this is a muzzle flash from the side, you're going to have to squeeze it in. And then you just drag the middle bit, place it over the gun, and there you go. You have a muzzle flash. Okay. But it's going to look a bit strange on its own, so we'll have a look. Well, of, course, it, of course, it'll be laggy at the beginning. I'll just go through frame by frame. My God. Okay, I wonder if that's any better. That's yeah, still laggy. It'll be fixed by the end. Anyway, um, you can always tell by how, f um, how far that is. It's starting to pick up now. So what you want to do is you want to go to the music icon, okay? And if you haven't already um, got the update, you should get the Final Cut Pro sound effects update, okay? And if you go into there, you can go down to weapons. And one that sort of suits this gun is Gun Handshot 3. Mine's already up here, the one, because yeah, I use it that often. Um, and you basically are going to take your sound effect and drag it on the same position, and it will create a yellow line when it's in line with another piece of footage. So now it should look like this. Oh, it doesn't move it fast. Okay, I'll just reframe by frame again. Okay, now what is it with a, without a bit of gory? So, go here, and drag this on too. This is just a blood splat splatter effect you can get off um, footage create, or is it detonation films? I think it's detonation films, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, I just sort of drag this to the end of the clip. Okay, now it should look like this. 
and that's basically it that's how to make a muzzle flash if you have any questions or you're getting stuck um, make sure to personal message or comment preferably that's the best way um, subscribe for more videos so we're going to take requests for tutorials so if you um, give us a good request we'll almost certainly do it um, apart from that um, thanks for watching I'll see you next time